Hi everybody, this is Jody, and I just wanted to do a super quick video on showing you what I learned yesterday in uh, a field trip uh, that I went on. This time it was a, a class uh, to learn encaustic wax. I wanted to learn this technique for such a long time uh, for especially card making. I'm a lover of abstract art and I have some pieces that have encaustic wax incorporated into it and I always wanted to know how they did it. So let's get started. This is going to be super quick. Isn't this cute? That, um, this was my first attempt at encaustic wax and oh hang on that's my dog. Chip! Chip, be quiet. Please. I'm trying to concentrate here. Look at mommy. Chip, yep, you're guilty. Mm-hmm. Be quiet. Okay, sorry guys. Alright, so this uh, was made using uh, first a stamp that the shop had where I took the class. We stamped it on uh, the trees with uh, stays on ink and used wax, crayon wax, to create the snow and the background. And I even tried to be creative and show a moon shining through. So, oh my god, that was so fun to do. I can hardly wait to mat it in black and get a uh, card created for that. This next one, uh, I picked a, a deer, uh, an elk, uh, oh, I guess that's a deer, a uh, stamp and embossed it. And then I used encaustic wax on this as well and as well as alcohol ink. I am a big fan of alcohol ink and I had no idea that I could uh, use alcohol ink with encaustic wax. So that was so fun to, to try out and experiment with. Again, I can hardly wait to get that made into a card. Uh, we were leaving and I really loved this stamp so this was a very hurried up job. Um, it's a stamp of a lighthouse that she had and I wanted to hurry up and do a um, something created with that. So this is what I came up with. Not the best of job, but um, again, I think it's gonna be a nice card. I wish I would have had more time to play around with it, but uh, anyway, this was like three minutes for me to create this. All right, so the next thing that we learned was using encaustic wax with brass stencils. Uh, again, I had no idea you could use stencils. I have a lot of stencils that go unused, and so uh, this particular one was of a tree. And I'm going to cut it up into maybe three sections and put it on a card. It was just um, a really cool technique. Uh, that uh, I really enjoyed learning. I liked it so much I made two of them. This one was using uh, metallic crayons. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up or not, but I um, hope you can see the shimmer in that. It, it was just so fun to learn something new. She had some screens there, and so I knew, I thought, oh my god, I want to use some screens. So this is what came out of that effect, and uh, I think I'm going to be uh, punching some leaves out with that. Here's another style, um, also using those screens. So I just really like how that uh, came out, lots of texture. This was um, the very first uh, project uh, that we did. This was supposed to be green grass at the bottom. I wish I I would have gone over this, uh, the green part, to make it more look like grass. I'm kind of disappointed with this one. but um, And then some mountains and then a blue purpley sky. And then just these others I'll just uh, quickly run through. Just uh, experimenting with the iron. You put the wax on a little miniature iron to create some really cool backgrounds. Uh, this particular one was done with vellum. So again, I, I learned uh, 
to use encaustic wax on vellum. Uh, it can be used with alcohol inks. This particular one was using uh, some metal tape, uh, just messing around with that tape that you can get at Walmart in the hardware section. Another background, I'll probably use these for backgrounds on cards or uh, with my punches. So anyway, that's super quick video. Uh, really enjoyed the class. Can hardly wait for the next class, which will be H Twinkling H2Os. I've always wanted to learn um, how to color in images using Twinkling H2Os. I have them, and they have just sat there for years. So I'm I'm real excited to get those out, and uh, that class will be coming up in a couple weeks. So. Thanks so much for watching and talk to you soon.